I truly can't believe how quickly five months has gone by. It just seems like yesterday I got here and now it's time to go back. Of course my gimbal is packed away so this is going to be kind of a jittery video. I just want to get some parting shots before I get to the airport. This is my third time to Thailand, but the longest time I've spent. The other two times were only 30 days at a time. But if I regret anything, I was not planning for a longer term stay because I would really love to be able to retire here forever. But uh, um, life had me in a different direction. It was only after my divorce of 2016 that I started pondering my, the rest of my life, which brought me to Thailand. Let me know what you think in the comments. As you watch me driving down the street in this bus on my way to the airport, what are your thoughts on Thailand? If you've never been, have you been? Would you like to go? I don't know what you're thinking as you're seeing these images, but I gotta tell you, man, uh, as far as uh, financially living here, it's probably one of the easiest places, the safest places I've ever been to. Mind you, I haven't been anywhere other than North America, Vietnam, China, but China never left the airport. So yeah, just comment in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are about Thailand. If you've ever decided, wanted to come here. Have you ever been here? What are your thoughts of the place? Anything you want to say, just comment below. I appreciate it. I respond to everybody. Mind you, that probably wouldn't be the case about responding to everybody if I had thousands of subscribers and hundreds of questions. Who has, who has that kind of time? I certainly do not. Actually, truth be told, I'm torn between Thailand and Vietnam. Last February, we spent the whole month in Da Nang, Vietnam, and it's absolutely stunning. And the year before, we took a week and spent in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon, and uh, I just love it there. My girlfriend not so much, but um, she's frustrated because she doesn't know the language. And I said, welcome to my world. You know, it's just part of one of the perks, you know. It's a challenge, but it can be fun. Depends on how you look at it, right? And as the bus moves closer to the Chiang Rai International Airport, you'll notice a lot of these buildings look like they are condos and a lot of them look like they have a garage in the front and that's usually the case but more often than not surprisingly people are running businesses out out of those uh, spots whether it's a noodle shop or a restaurant of some sort or selling um, you know goods like a little mini mart or something like that 
it's um, people are very entrepreneur like-minded in this uh, Thailand and speaking of Vietnam I do have a whole uh, playlist of videos that I took from uh, content that I created in Vietnam so feel free to uh, check those out as well if you don't mind And before I forget to mention it, uh, from the bus station downtown Chiang Rai to the airport on this bus, it's only, I believe it's only 20 Thai baht, which is uh, 85 cents Canadian, approximately 63 cents US. And if I'm incorrect about that, then it's 40 Thai baht, which is $1.70 Canadian and $1.26 US. but I'm pretty certain it's actually only 20 Thai baht. I've been on it enough times I just for some reason I can't remember but I'm pretty sure it's only 20 Thai baht. And as you look at these moving pictures before I head off to the other side of the hemispheres I want you to help me out by subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. I'd really like to get it up to 2,112 by the end of this year. That's 2,112 subscribers. This lady walking along the street is selling flowers that she's put together in a little bouquet and I believe people take them and leave them at the temple for whatever reason Buddhists do the things that they do. Chattachak, sorry for butchering the name of this weekend market, but it's the largest of its kind in Bangkok, Thailand. The following photographs were taken from their art gallery. It's a beautiful place. If you ever have the opportunity to go there, don't miss this place. Excuse me, miss. Can you give me a ride downtown? I want to go downtown to see the water festival. <laughs> 